My guest in the garden this week is a familiar face to many Australians. Tracy Vo has been a member of the Today Show team, but few realise what a talent she is in the kitchen. So I thought I'd show her around my garden, maybe inspire her to create something delish. Well, Tracy, welcome to my backyard. It's a little bit on the unusual side. It's pretty <laughs> it's much heaven, full <laughs> of edible plants. And some of them are really quite unusual, like yep. this one here. Do you know this yes. one? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Yes. Yeah. So. But I didn't realise it almost looks like a cactus, though. It is a cactus. Yeah. So it's the fruit of a cacti, and it has the most incredible flowers, beautiful, big, creamy white flowers, and it's so easy to grow. I just I wouldn't have picked you to grow dragon fruit in there, especially in Perth, actually. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a lot of unusual plants. I've got I've got another one down here. You want to come okay. have a look? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> Tracy's family came to Australia from Vietnam and brought with them some wonderful cuisine. Vietnamese food is so fresh and flavoursome and many of my vegetables reflect my love for the cooking style that comes from this region in the world. So Tracy, this is a really interesting part of the garden. This is aquaponics, so I'm growing edible fish, things like trout and barramundi, marron, wow. um, freshwater mussels and it's in a symbiotic relationship with plants. So they're all edible plants and they're cleaning the water of any toxins that are in the water or any build up of nitrogen so that it stays nice and fresh. But it means I can grow all sorts of cool things. <laughs> like I've got a whole bunch of different types of mm -hmm. members of the ginger family. So turmeric, um, cinnamon, ginger, and real ginger, which is not easy to grow. Love it. I love ginger because it's Dude. just, it warms you up through winter, you know, it's so healthy. And it is, I'll see if I can get this one out oh. because We'll not better oh. use it in some cooking. Let's yeah. have a look at that. <gasps> look at that. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh. Yeah, shall we take that? Yep, absolutely. Can you smell that smell? Yep. Can't wait to use it. All right. <laughs> so many different <laughs> types of plants I'm growing here. Mint, but then a lot of the Asian greens too. Yep. So, And one of the ones that I really love is the Mizuna. So, you know, those yes, are yes. sort of peppery. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so you can kind there of add these into all sorts of dishes and, yep. and great in salads, but really good in stir fries, particularly those peppery, spicy ones. Beautiful. So I've got the green and the red mizuna, and then I've got that mustard leaf, which has got a really beautiful red mm. mustardy flavour mm. through it. I'm thinking of uh, something to go in a soup, so... Okay. There's a, about... quite a few different Asian greens are in yes. there. Bok choy, Let's choy do some sum. Bok choy, I reckon. Bok choy? Yeah, okay. love bok choy. Let's do it. So Tracy, this is something that I think more people should be doing. It's growing herbs in bowls because yeah. you can have all sorts of things that are good for you. I mean, kale's really a vegetable, but parsley, chives, and you know this one? This one's probably one of my favourite mm. sour kind of herbs, the luxa herb. Beautiful. Now, some people call it Vietnamese mint. Yeah. But it's so good as so a garnish good. or, you know, in a real luxa yeah. when you use that. The flavours are so strong, right? I actually grow this on my balcony. Do you? <laughs> yeah. and, and it's indestructible, yes, right? It it's is. just <laughs> such a tough herb. And most Love herbs it. are like that. Now, I think I've shown you most things. Yeah. What else do you want for the kitchen? I uh, probably need some limes mm -hmm. um, and some lemon lemongrass, I'd say. Okay, I've got lemongrass. That's easy. easy. Great. Well, we'll head up here and go and pick some. Sounds good. Okay, come on. <laughs> 